The Legend of Jimmy Spoon by Christiana Gregory. Chapter 17, Questions for a Chief. Nampa and Gamu sat with Jimmy on a boulder in the stream. A small waterfall trickled below their feet into a clear, deep pool. We came to the Sagwa, to the Sagwa Bipa, Nampa began. Crow were on the other side. Jimmy knew they were talking about the head of the Missouri River. We waited until dark. We went in for their ponies and got 31 to run with us. But the crow were awake. Their arrows killed our cousin and crippled my horse. Nampa had jumped on the dead man's horse and broken away with the others. They were chased for hours. More arrows and wounded horses. Jimmy swished his bare feet in the water. He had listened to their story. Now he was thinking, you traded 32 horses for the life of your cousin? It's not fair, Jimmy said to Washaki. They were walking in the moonlight toward their lodge. You are right, Dawi, he said. It's, it's not fair, but the crow would have done the same to us. You're the chief. Can't you make peace? When you are grown, Dawi, you can change things your way. It isn't as easy as you think. They stood outside the teepees. Sounds of familiar settling down for the night could be heard. An old woman's voice sang softly. There should be peace, Washaki said after several moments. The great spirit does not like fighting among his brothers. Then why do people fight? This I can't answer. Jimmy tried to think of something to say. He wanted to feel safe, and he wanted to believe that his own family was safe. Do Shoshone hate white people as much as they hate Crow? Washaki looked at him, remembering his first meeting with whites 50 years earlier. Lewis and Clark had come to the Shoshone in peace, and the Shoshone had promised peace in return. Washaki was loyal to that memory. I will never fight Taibo. A warrior who attacks a Taibo is not from Chief Washaki. I forbid our people to fight with the settlers. But you will fight with other Indians. When I was a young man, Dawi, I enjoyed war. Even when our tribe was at peace, I wandered off looking for trouble, looking for enemies. I am sad to tell you that I killed many Indians. For this reason, I am ashamed to speak of my youth. Jimmy was still confused. He'd never worried much he'd never worried much about what people did or what they felt, but for some reason he now deeply cared. This new emotion made him bold. No one wins if everyone keeps fighting, Jimmy said as carefully as possible. Maybe if the chiefs put their pipes together, they can agree to stop once and for all. You don't have to like each other. You just have to all want peace. It was the longest speech Jimmy had ever made. Washaki slowly lifted his face to the stars. And that's the end of chapter 17.